On the last video, I showed you the materials you needed. Some of them. So you got your needle, you got your thread. This one will be loading your needle. First thing you want to do is take your thread, tie a simple knot, like so. Make sure it's pulled tight. Flip it. Take your needle, start it through the eye, go around the back of the eye, back through the other side. Tie another simple knot. Pull it tight. Okay. You have to start it. All you got to do is loop it through the back, flip the needle over, pull it up through here, push push down on your eye of the needle, back through the back. So now it's went through the back. Pull that tight. And just continue this process until you have a peak start to build within the eye of your needle. I'll go a little slower. And you really don't want the thread up like this. So it's better to let the spool run. If it does get loaded up, you can let it spin. Get all the kinks out of it. So just put your spool on the ground and let it go. Make sure it rolls off the spool though. It doesn't come off the top or the bottom. And continue this process. And in the next video, I'll be showing you how to double up on your needle. And then after that, we'll get started with making your first run. Well, the first thing you want to do is load your needle. You want to keep it all nice and tight down here. You don't want any big pieces hanging out because it's going to get big. It's probably going to look something a little like this. <laughs> oh. Like so. It's going to be a finished product. And there's more to go, if you notice. But you got to be head careful. You might split it. So just continue loading your needle until you build up a ridge. Once you get the ridge, check on the next video and I'll show you how to put even more on it. But you want to be careful. And uh, that'll be coming soon. How to double up your needle. And after that, we'll be starting out your first row. Thank you.